This is the BrewTubers Online Brewers Club 2022 Hops Experiment, Hoppy Blonde Ale. Thanks to our sponsors. Imperial Yeast, Beer and Wine Hobby Homebrew Supply Store, Brewers Hardware, Five Star Chemicals, and Yakima Valley Hops. Get brewing. What's up, guys? Chris back again, and... Surprise, surprise, same clothes, same hat, same glass. We're back with video number five in the BrewTubers Hop Experiment, Hoppy Blonde Ale 2022. This is going to be the Mosaic Lupo Mat. So we're doing this back to back right after Sean's. So here we go. That'll be fresh in my memory with the T90. So here we go again. Quick little recap for those of you who don't know. So we had a, like I said, Hop Experiment. So only variable would be the hot product. So we had three different hot products, T90, Lupo Max, and Incognito, two different hot varieties, Citra and Mosaic, all graciously provided by our wonderful sponsor, Yakima Valley Hops. So that was the hopping. The only difference there would be what product you used in your Whirlpool. A little bit of Centennial um, in the bittering, which Yakima Valley was also generous enough to provide, sorry. Um, and then, same grist, a little bit of two row, a little bit of wheat malt, and a little bit of honey malt. So, sorry, a lot of two row, a little bit of wheat, a little bit of honey, and then all oh, the yeast provided by another awesome sponsor of ours, Imperial Yeast AO1 House for this, provided to everybody. Um, and then, like I said, that's, yeah, that's the recipe. That's what it was. Six different participants, six different beers. And then in the boxes also came from our other awesome sponsor, Five Star Chemical, some PBW tablets, and our beer and wine hobby is throwing in two $25 gift cards to the club for anybody who orders there. So our sponsors were really awesome for this. But again, let's get into the review. It's about the beer. Like I said, Mosaic Lupo Max. Super excited for this. As you probably heard in Sean's beer from the Mosaic T90. Mosaic, one of my favorite hops, so super excited to see this. Um, this one right here was brewed by Dan. You can find him over at My Adventures in Homebrew. He's got a podcast as well as his YouTube channel. Check out his podcast. He's got some good stuff there. And his brewery he calls Dog Hair Brewing. So he's got these cool little stubby bottles, similar to uh, the Red Stripe bottle. Not quite the same, but very similar. Dan did give us a warning that these might be over carbonated, so I'm a little scared to open this. I probably should have grabbed a poncho or maybe a bucket, but uh, hopefully it's not too bad. Um, I haven't seen anybody else's review of this yet, so here goes nothing. Oh, it's a little hiss. Oh, it's starting to bubble up, but all good, Dan. No explosion. Little, little head there, so we're good to go. So we're going to pour this in there, see how it was. Freshly wash this glass. Hopefully, no uh, nothing sticks to the side. We got a nice clean pour. Save a little bit of in the bottom there. So hopefully, we don't get any floaties. All right. Looks like we're good to go on this one. Sorry about that. Accidentally hit the button. I'm a little clicky guy. Cut the video off. <laughs> Sorry about that. So we're looking we're looking good here. Maybe got to cut again. Probably should end the pour. A little bit sooner, but uh, again, clear with gelatin, fairly clear. I can see my finger through it. Uh, you can pretty much see the, you, you guys can see me through it. So it's pr pretty clear here, pretty clear here. Um, a little bit lighter, a little bit lighter in color. Definitely uh, not quite gold, but a nice yellow, not straw, kind of in between gold and yellow. Nice color there. Let's get a little shaky to get some aroma in here. Well, this one I'm definitely picking up more of a hop character off the aroma again not maybe a little bit of the two row a little bit of two row a little bit more of like a danky hop character coming out of that um yeah not real no no real fruity tropical characters to speak of but well, maybe, maybe a little bit on the back end there try to get this this wasn't as warmed up as it could have been, sorry. 
try to... It's coming out a little bit more. There we go. A little bit of, yeah, a little bit of that sweet fruit, a little bit of that tropical. Definitely not citrus, definitely not that, but definitely some danky, just hoppy, hop, like a hop character coming out of that. So, all right, I'm excited for this. Let's get in. Right off the bat, I'm getting a I'm getting a lot of the honey malt. A lot of the honey malt in this one. It's really coming through. It gives way to a nice firm bitterness, not overbearing, but it's firm. It's definitely there. It helps it wash off your palate and you go back in. Got the sweetness of the honey malt right up front. A little bit of that bitterness in the back end. So for really, really want invite you right back in. I'd say a medium to medium to light kind of dry mouth feel. I'm trying to remember if Mike's was like this kind of digging a little bit for the the hop character, but it's very it's fair it's very subtle. Um for Lupo Max, I was expecting a little more pop, a little more punch, but I'm I'm not really getting that. And again, it could be, you know, most of these guys brewed this, I think, beginning, beginning, middle of September, and now we're kind of beginning of of uh, December, so for a hoppy beer, kind of probably a little bit long in the tooth, maybe it's had around longer than it should have. Um Put in the Roma, I get the danky hop character, but the flavor is not coming through as much. It's really pleasant. It's a good blonde ale. Like I said, the mouth feels there. The sweetness from the honey malt is really kicking there. You can definitely get the nice firm bitterness from from the hops. Um, I'm picking up. Yeah, there we go. I'm definitely picking up that. Like I, I keep using the word. I'm sorry, but. What I described as mosaic, the dankness in mosaic. I mean, the earthy hop character, the natural hop character that mosaic has. Definitely picking that up in this, which for Lupo Max, you would you would think would be a little less than T90 because you're, you're removing some of the vegetable matter and more concentrating the lupulin. And you'd get more of like the mango berry fruit forward. Yeah, there's definitely a, a, a fruity component there, but it's definitely, it's kind of like the background, it's like the background noise. It, it's coming in at the end. Um, it's more subtle. It's like a, it's part of like a, the supporting cast. It's not the, the front. I'm really getting a lot of honey malt in the front is really, for Dan's beer right now, is really uh, prominent is the honey malt. Yeah, I'd say with, with the, yeah, it's definitely got more of a, just a, just a gen, generic hop flavor, I would say, to it. The dankness, the hop flavor, a little bit of like a fruity hop, nothing too, nothing, kind of like nondescript, just kind of like a generic hop, a little bit of hop fruitiness, and then that's kind of what I'm getting from the hops. I would say, as far as the style, like in a blonde ale, I think this drinks more like Eric's beer as far as bitterness and the way the hops come through. It's got a little more hop. I think this one actually has decent complexity to it because I'm getting the dank, the bitter, a little bit of the fruit. It's less one note than the Citra Lupamax, I will say. Um, so, so, oh, excuse me, sorry. Um, I think it drinks a little more like a pale. Again, this is 4.62%, so only 35 IBUs, but it comes through a little more than that, which, you know, good on you, Dan. I mean, it's it's coming through well. I mean, it drinks more like a pale, which is more up my alley than a blonde, so I'm actually digging it. Um, 
I like that dank hop complexity is really helping me out. Again, the more it warms up, the more sips I get, the more of that, that background fruit I'm pulling out, but it's it's something I've never got out of mosaic. It's just kind of like a generic. Normally I, I'll pull, like I said, I'll pull like a mango, overripe mango, maybe a touch of blueberry, um, maybe something like a like a guava or like a papaya, something I'll pull pull something like that at it, but this is just kind of like a nondescript, just generic hoppy, danky hop character and a little bit of hoppy fruit character to, to back it up. A little bit of grainy note, the more it kind of comes through. So a little bit of that, that two row, that grainy is coming through with the honey malt. It's, it's really good, I think. It, it's, it's, um, I compare it, if you go to, if you go to, like, a local craft brewery around you, a good one, that's making, like, their, gen, like, generic pale ale, this is what that is right there. And that's not a dig. That's, that's a compliment. I, I love a good pale ale. I love a good IPA. Something right around here. So that's, I mean... That's what this is, um, at least to me. It's drinking more like a pale than a blonde. And it's got, like I said, the hop complexity, that firm bitterness, that dank, and it gets backed up with some of that fruit, that resin. That, that multi backbone. Yeah, a lot of multi back. Now it's come. Ooh. So it's, it's not, I don't think, showcasing the Lupomax. As much as maybe in the hot product, as much as, you know, maybe some of the others would. But I think <laughs> drinking just as good. And, and for my palate, it's, it's really good. Like I said, drinking like a good pale ale. Got the great color. Um, it's, diff it's a difficult one to... to <laughs> To, to judge and, and rank again it's it's it, again for as compared to like a blonde ale and a hoppy blonde ale i'm um not sure if it fits but maybe it does because I'm, I'm getting more of the grainy malt character backed up by the hop so maybe in a blonde ale you get more grain you should get more of that grain first with that with the, the hops in the back end and preference too it's it's tough because it, it's kind of like a tweener um not quite a blonde not quite a pale um yeah i still say sean's and eric's are kind of going toe to toe up in the head and then this would probably be a close uh third or fourth i'd say um it's tough. It's kind of yeah. Like I said, it's it's kind of hard. Do we want if it are we going based on style or preference or or what are showcasing the hop? So like I said, I don't think this one showcases the fruity hop that you would expect out of Lupo Max as much. But I think it's but maybe it's the other side of Lupo Max. The you know or maybe it's the mosaic Lupo Max is giving more of the 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 resiny mosaic than the fruity mosaic. Well, I'll tell you what, Dan. The 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 malt character in this is awesome. I don't think I've had another. Um, definitely not so far in this experiment, and it's from what I've had so far that showcases the bit like a good a good malt character as much as this one. So, kudos to you. I don't know, you know, what you did with the, this one, but uh, it's good. Clearly, I'm gonna I'm gonna finish this, and uh, yeah, it's been fun, guys. Until the next one, cheers.